My childish child welcome- my childish childs. It's, I, it's supposed to be plural because you're probably a lot of people watching this, except if you're like only one, like in front of the screen, in which case you are just one child and not just like many childs. But you get the point, okay? Okay, whatever. We understand each other. Welcome to the updated zombie deck profile. This deck is good. I mean, it, it's 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 really good. Is it tier 0, tier negative 1? Okay, probably not, but it, it's good, okay? Zombie World is insane. I keep saying that if you can play Zombie World in your deck, your side deck, whatever, try to play it. In Virtual World, I would be playing Zombie World with Banshee because Beatrice can just send the Banshee and then activate Zombie World, which is very fair. So against Dragon Link, uh, you kind of win. Against Salamangrate, you kind of win. Against uh, literally everything in the entire world, you kind of win. And uh, yeah, well, before we start, make sure you like and subscribe because it motivates me to keep existing. And yeah, let's jump into the deck profile. So uh, we play a bunch of great cards that you always want to draw. XD Law, Ruffle LMAO, Don't Kill Me. Two bad Doom Kings, that's also another card that you don't necessarily want to draw, but if you do, it's actually not that bad, because Gozuki, shockingly, has a pretty relevant graveyard effect. When it's sent to the grave, or rather, should I say, if it's sent to the grave, oh my god, it's not when, Bernard, it's if. Okay, calm down, Jeffrey. Uh, you can banish another zombie from your grave and then special summon any zombie from your hand. It's not like level 4 or lower or anything, nah, bro. It's like anything, so, well, any zombie. So yeah, Doom King fits the bill, and then after that, if you have, like, Zombie World on the field, it's like Merry Christmas, because you you can negate monster effects, you can banish monsters from the field and grave without targeting, like, oh, oh my god, it's so good, but yeah, this card's really nice, I freaking love it, and I think 3 is overkill, 1 is not enough, because if it gets, like, DD Cold, Cloud by the Grave, you're kind of screwed in a way, and, uh, yeah, oh my god, I keep, I'm so, I love myself so much, <laughs> anyways, uh, that's it for the, uh, not, the, for the cards that you don't necessarily want to draw, but even if you draw them, it's not the end of the world, if you draw Scythe, it's shockingly not that bad, because you skip the Part where you make Dagda, so instead of that, you can just make Mascarena. You just set it, and then the Needle Fiber turns into TG Wonder Magician. You pop the Scythe, and it's not that bad. So drawing this uh, this card is not a not a bad thing. Drawing the Driver, on the other hand, yeah, that that annoys me, but it's 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 a risk that you're gonna have to take. <laughs> Anyways, three Banshee. I actually think I like 3 Banshee to Zombie World a bit more than the other way around. Uh, there are a few arguments, pretty good arguments to play 2 and 2, or sometimes a bit less. I think I think you definitely have to play more than one Zombie World. I want to say 2 is like bare minimum, and at least one Banshee, but the thing is it's a body. So this card combos with Uni Zombie, but Zombie World doesn't combo with... Uh, with uh, zombie with uni zombie it doesn't do too much like all you're gonna do is like send the bloom and then summon doom king and pass uh, that's pretty pathetic or like vampire soccer draw wondering your opponent's turn like ooh negates <laughs> no uh, nah that's uh, that's it's just it's not juicy enough uh, but the thing is if you have a uni zombie and banshee you send the mizuki and then you revive back the banshee then you make needle fiber whereas uni zombie doesn't single handedly get you a link to monster unless you're playing like plague spreader zombie but even then you're just I don't know, it's gonna be kinda, I don't know, like, not good enough. Like, you're gonna have to put back one card from your hand, like, ew. But yeah, uh, whatever, 3 Mizuki, it's also a good card to draw, because you just always discard it with the other effect of Uni Zombie. You also play 3 Solitaire, 3 Uni Zombie, and 2 Gozuki. Well, the thing is, alright, you can draw all 3 normal summons, and they actually do something in your hand. They're like, they're not like, oh, okay, you drew more than one normal summon, then whatever, they're just all gonna be bricks, except of one, and then next turn, maybe you're gonna be using one. No, 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 trust me. Uh, Gozuki's effect is so relevant that sometimes you get to just do a lot with all of them, which is really, really cool, but uh, yeah. In case you're wondering, why am I not playing multiple multiple copies of, well, more than two Gozuki, which means three. <laughs> it's not like, oh my god, a spider. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, kind of random. But yeah, it's because, I don't know, it's like, it doesn't have that other ability that Uni Zombie has to, like, discard from the hand. So if it gets ashed, it's a bit less good in a way-ish. Whereas, like, yeah, Uni Zombie, it's, it's kind of it's kind of cool. But if it gets Valor, then you're kind of screwed. Uh, if Solitaire gets ashed and you have Gamma, you literally cry in, like, a good way. But if, like, these cards get ashed and you have nothing, you cry in, like, a bad way. But, yeah. Uh, Glow Bloom, Foolish, uh, no shit, Monster Reborn, uh, Hand Chaps, because we enjoy not losing going second smile. Uh, fun fact, there are zombies 
doesn't change anything to my life, but there are zombies. Uh, <laughs> the only thing it changes, literally, because the thing is, their defense is so high that you can't even surge them off of goblin zombies, so you can't even say, like, oh my god, they have so much inherent synergy with zombies. Absolutely not, Karen. But yeah, uh, I don't know, I guess they can be revived back off of Mizuki, uh, even when you don't have zombie world access, so you can make revenge with Savior, and then, like, send Banshee, and then finally activate zombie world after, like, 25 billion years, but, like, yeah, it's, like, it takes too long, and I don't know, I'm just, I don't I'm just, I don't like, I'm not patient, okay? I just want that card advantage right now, Bernard! But yeah, anyways, that's it for the first 30 cards of the deck. So I'm, not, I'm not done yet. Call by the Grave, no shit. Uh, two Zombie Rail, three Prosperity, because we don't want a brick. Definitely not. Uh, by the way, when I go Prosperity in this deck, I banish six. So the cards that I banish are usually... Hard Red, Dragon Arch, Fiend, King, Calamity, Savage, Shooting Riser, Omega with probably, uh, it's usually like, maybe Unicorn, maybe Mascarina with like Relinquished Anima, it depends on my hand, but for the most part, these cards are kinda just win Mori, they're always, they're only there when I know that my opponent isn't going to be hand trapping me anytime soon, or if he already hand trapped me and I gamma his ass, or something like that, and I have the full combo, it's just like a three card combo anyways, it's not like I had to sack like crazy, well, three card combo, well, it's all relative, but uh, you get the point. Anyways, uh, Shiny Style Swallow Slash is a one of, so you don't lose to Mystic Mine in the deck out, because even if your opponent has 75 copies of Solemn Judgment, Shiny Style Swallow Slash protects you from that because you tribute your monster for cost, and then you destroy two other cards, so what is he gonna do? Like, Judgment, pay 4,000, and then the Mystic Mine dies on end phase? Like, big deal, sure, I don't care. And yeah, and then three Rivalry of Warlords, because we want a card that sacks the opponent. You could argue that Super Poly does like a better job-ish, but then you would have to switch in these cards for the Super Poly targets. By the way, if you're confused when you're looking at these cards, uh, don't be. Just watch my combo videos, uh, my combo video. Well, I have combo videos also, but whatever. Just mo just watch my most recent one. I uploaded it literally yesterday, unless you're watching this video in like 2074. And in which case, I would actually be surprised if the planet still exists, uh, considering how bad we're evolving. But yeah, anyways, uh, for the extra deck, a uh, bunch of cards that I already explained I shouldn't be explaining. And then Sun Saga, Omega, TG Wonder Magicians, where you can pop Scythe. For my Synchron, 2 plus 8 equals 10, so you can make this. Uh, by the way, Baroness should be in the extra deck. Only reason why I'm not including it is because it currently doesn't exist, and I wanted to make this as... Like, as, like, right now friendly as possible, so if you want to play zombies, like, right now, you can, but, like, yeah, and, yeah. Anyways, uh, access code, like, unicorn, sucker, oh my god, I'm so dumb. Uh, Vendred Savior, the Artifact Dagda, Needle Fiber, Masker, and, uh, any, any, what's going on with my brain? Anyways, uh, <laughs> idea section, uh, Super Poly Targets, Dragon Necro, Nether Soul Dragon, this is two zombie monsters, Starving Venom is two darks, Mud Dragon of the Swamp is two monsters, the same attribute, but different levels, so when you have Zombie World active, Super Poly is nasty because you can always use just two generic monsters to go into Dragon Necro, Nether Soul. And yeah, for the Synchro, Baroness de Fleur, well, Synchros, Baroness de Fleur, Shen Shen, for TG Hyper, <laughs> I was gonna say Formula Synchro on LMAO, uh, TG Hyper Library, well, fun fact, they actually both draw cards, but yeah. Appaloosa, Barricade, Barricade is actually kinda nice, uh, you can discard cards for, uh, it doesn't really get you anything, but you discard cards, and sometimes you just want cards in the grave, honestly, I mean, it's zombies, they, they, like, they enjoy being in the grave, <laughs> like, literally, like, in the actual graveyard. They're, I mean, they're zombies, but yeah. Anyways, Anaconda, so you can super poly your opponent's ass. Uh, if you want to play Dragoon and Brick, I strongly recommend you not to do it because it's not good. But I, I don't know, if you enjoy Bricking, go for it. Uh, the thing is, you're also locked under zombies only when you use the effect of Bloom, so it's actually so awkward, but yeah. Uh, Forbidden Drop, Super Poly, Zombie World, Artifact Sanctum. Okay, Eradicator Epidemic Virus is a disgusting one. That's the reason why I think this deck is pretty good post game one. All you really have to do to kind of win against a few decks is just resolve it, call spells, traps, whatever, and you kind of just have a semi insta win there. Uh, so, against Brandish, you just call spells, obviously. Uh, against some other decks like Salamangrate, instead of going for the Eradicator virus, you go for Deck Devastation virus, and all of their cards outside of like Debug and Jaguar die. So, it's like, uh, okay, you lose. And yeah, I enjoy um, seeing my opponents lose because I enjoy winning if you can understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this zombie deck profile. I really hope you guys were able to enjoy, learn a thing or four, and uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to take a shower because I just came back to the from the gym, and uh, peace.